In the world of women's football, certain players possess the ability to transform the game and in Nikki Lopez, Evelyn EJ, and Opayemi Ajakaye. In this video, we will delve into the remarkable attributes of these players and discuss how their presence could revolutionize the Super Falcons gameplay and fortunes heading towards the next World Cup. Vicky Lopez Vicky Lopez is a 17-year-old Nigerian Spanish footballer who plays for FC Barcelona's La Masia. She played for Spain women's national under-17 football team helping them lift the trophy at the under-17 FIFA Women's World Cup, winning the golden ball in the process. She also helped them to a second-place finish at the Under-17 European Championship prior to the World Cup. She was born to a Spanish father and a Nigerian mother and has shown interest in playing for Nigeria. Viewed as one of the greatest teenage promises in the women's game in Spain, Lopez oozes skill and charisma and can play as an attacking midfielder or winger. Vicky Lopez was so good in her formative years that she scored 60 goals in 17 matches during the 2020-2021 Youth League season. At her former club, she became the youngest player ever to debut in Spain's top-tier women's league at just 15 years and two months of age. Lopez's talent, skill, and determination paid off when she earned a spot in Barcelona's senior women's team, marking the beginning of a promising career. By the next World Cup, she should be 21 years old, which shouldn't an issue as Linda Caicedo, who she competed against at the Junior World Cup, played for Colombia at the just-concluded Senior Women's World Cup at the age of 18 and performed admirably. As a potential addition to the Super Falcons, she has the potential to bring a multifaceted dimension to the Super Falcons with her versatility. This adaptability not only keeps opponents guessing, but also provides Nigeria with a strategic edge. Whether orchestrating attacks from anywhere in midfield or spearheading assaults at goal herself, Lopez's ability to seamlessly transition between roles can revolutionize the team's tactical approach, keeping adversaries on their toes and amplifying the team's unpredictability. Lopez's technical prowess and creative flair are elements that can significantly elevate the Super Falcons' gameplay. Her deft ball control, precision passing, and innate ability to read the game offer a potentially dynamic edge to Nigeria's offensive and defensive strategies. As a playmaker, she possesses the uncanny knack of unlocking defenses and creating goal-scoring opportunities. With Vicky Lopez in the ranks, the Super Falcons could witness an upsurge in possession-based football enabling them to dictate the rhythm of matches and seize control of the pitch. At the 2023 World Cup, getting the ball to the attack through the middle was often a problem for the Super Falcons, making them result to long balls. Vicky Lopez's technical brilliance and leadership qualities make her a potential game-changer for Nigeria's Super Falcons. The fact that she plays in the same team with Oshawala at club level will not hurt as the understanding and potential chemistry from playing together at club level could translate to better performances for Oshawala in the Super Falcons. If Vicky Lopez eventually dons the Nigerian jersey, the Super Falcons will be poised for a resurgence that could redefine the course of the team's approach and give them a good chance of going all the way at the Women's World Cup in 2027. Evelyn EJ with the underperformance of the Super Falcons' attack at the 2023 World Cup, it is evident that another area the Super Falcons seems to be lacking is in attack. The talent and abilities of Asisat Oshawala on her good day is undeniable. However, it is obvious that the potency of Asisat as a striker is dependent on getting the right pass coupled with her sheer speed and strength. It is also possible that the injuries and her bit part appearances for Barcelona might be taking its toll, hence the recent string of inconsistent performances for the Super Falcons in recent years. In the absence or underperformance of Asisat Oshawala, it is necessary that Nigeria has a backup or replacement when the situation arises as other options have not been very potent. Sweden-based youth player Evelyn EJ may be one such player that could be an option for Nigeria. Evelyn EJ debuted in the Swedish league at the age of 16 with a team in the second tier. She gained recognition in the 2021-2022 season when she helped her team gain promotion to the first tier with 22 goals. She has played for the Swedish national under-17, under-19 and under-23 teams as a striker. She is 22 years old presently and stands at 5'8", which is a good height for a striker making her an assured option for the Super Falcons at the next World Cup. Evelyn EG was called to the Super Falcons team camp in 2021 but was not capped so she decided to play for the Swedish under-23s which is an error to join the long list of errors by the Nigerian FA. Evelyn is considered a rising star and a prospect for the Swedish senior team. And if she can live up to her potential in the next couple of years and the Nigerian FA moves quickly, 
then she may be a potential solution or option for Nigeria in attack by the next World Cup. Opayemi Ajakaye Opayemi Ajakaye was a star performer for Nigeria at youth level and is a player who could be a force for Nigeria at the next World Cup. At the Under-17 World Cup in 2022, she was the player of the match on three occasions and showed her value with her pace which was a constant problem for Nigeria's opponents at the tournament. Ajakaye is a fast, pacey winger who is capable of running into spaces effortlessly. She easily outruns defenders leaving them in her wake when she takes off on a run down the flanks. She scored three times at the 2022 Under-17 World Cup showing obvious talents at putting the ball at the back of the net. She was the highest goal scorer for the Falconettes prior to the 2022 Under-17 World Cup and is the current highest goal scorer at the Wafu B Under-20 tournament upon transitioning to the Under-20 level. With exposure in a top-tier league, she should be able to develop and improve on her hold-up play and finishing. Opayemi is 5'6", which is a good height for a female winger, and with further development she could potentially get faster and more difficult to bring down. She obviously should be ready for the Super Falcons in 2027. At that World Cup, she will be 22 years old, which is a good age to make her debut at the Senior World Cup level. At the Women's World Cup in 2023, Nigeria displayed tactical discipline with efficient defending while attacking mostly on the counter. However, with Vicky Lopez in the middle of the park for the Super Falcons and Opayemi Ajakaye and Rashidat Ajibadi bombing down the flanks, the team will be able to create more chances and put the opposing team under more pressure. With a potent attack that includes Asisat Oshawala, Evelyn EJ, and even under-23 striker Flourish Sebastian if she comes good, then Nigeria can be assured of being more dangerous going forward. If Nigeria fosters some level of continuity by maintaining the core of the 2023 team's backline and includes the additions mentioned, the Super Falcons should be able to produce more commanding performances, especially moving forward leading up to the next World Cup. To build on the performance in 2023, the technical staff may need to be maintained and with better planning and support from the Nigerian FA, then we can confidently say that the world should look out for the Super Falcons in 2027. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Also, please leave a comment and let us know what you think about our suggestions and whether there are other players we should add to the mix looking towards the next World Cup. See you in the next video.